okay so in the previous video we have derived or we can say we have seen the formulas for simply supported beam subjected to point load at the center so this point load is present at the center so for this case the values of maximum deflection and the slope at ends is given here i will take one problem here quickly so write down a beam is simply supported a beam is simply supported as shown in the figure we have to take the value of ix 15.614 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter to the power 4 then the value of e is 200 giga newton per meter square and what we have to find here is find maximum deflection maximum deflection in the beam and slope at both the ends of beam so this is the question here and in the diagram it is given like this a simply supported beam subjected to point load at center the value of point load is 30 kilo newton this distance is 1.5 meter and this is also 1.5 meter so this is the question now here we will first denote the points here this is the point a b and the center point will denote with c what is the total length of the beam 1.5 plus 1.5 3 then we will write here given so in given this i value is given 15.614 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter to the power 4 similarly the e value is 200 giga newton per meter square now here you can write 1 giga means 10 to the power 9 so instead of this capital g you can substitute 200 into 10 to the power 9 newton per meter square okay so we have converted this into si unit now you can see the i value is in meter to the power 4 e is in newton per meter square e newton per meter square i meter to the power 4 now we will write the formulas here you can also write here to find so what we have to find we have to find the value of delta c that is maximum deflection and the value of theta a and theta b slope at ends so first delta max maximum deflection the formula is p l cube by 48 ei so p value is 30 so here you can see it is kilo newton 30 kilo newton 1 kilo means 10 to the power 3 or 1000 so we will substitute here 10 to the power 3 kilo into l cube that is the value of l l is 3 meter so it is 3 cube divided by 48 into e value e is 200 into 10 to the power 9 i value is 15.614 into 10 to the power minus 6 so calculate this after calculation you should get 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 now what is the unit for this so pay attention here the all values we have taken it in we have taken it in si unit so the value of deflection also will come in the si unit that is it will come in meter as deflection is nothing but the distance and what is the value or what is the si unit of distance it is meter so this answer will come in meter only now we will convert this meter into mm so we have already seen 1 meter is equal to 10 to the power 3 mm so here if we multiply it with 10 to the power 3 it will be 5.4 mm 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power 3 will get cancelled 
now second is theta a and this theta b this both are same and the formula for this is pl square by 16 em substituting everything so p value 13 to 10 to the power 3 l value 3 square divided by 16 into 200 15.614 into 10 to the power minus 6 calculating this you will get the answer as 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this is not in degrees here okay this value will come in radians very very important theta is always coming in radians so this is the answer so this is the value of maximum deflection and this is the value of slope at ends